Welcome to Pick Your Poison. Today we're talking about the poisoner's poison, thallium. Thallium is water-soluble, odorless, tasteless, and was readily available in rat poison before it became a banned substance in the late 1970s. It's called the poisoner's poison because it's rumored to have been very popular as a murder weapon in the U.S. and abroad prior to its being banned, which is why it's featured in numerous spy thrillers and murder mysteries, most notably The Pale Horse by Agatha Christie. Interesting side note, the popularity of Christie's book and her vivid description of thallium poisoning actually saved the lives of two people and led to the arrest of one serial killer. So, like I'm always saying, Pick up a book, kids, or die from thallium poisoning. The more you know. So how did you get thallium poisoning? Well, it can enter your system through your skin or lungs, but most likely you ingested it. And now thallium is replacing the potassium in your body and wreaking havoc on your nervous system. You'll have hair loss, vomiting, diarrhea, and the sensation of walking on hot coals. You'll also have failures in your lungs, heart, liver, and kidneys. If the dose is high enough and you don't seek treatment, you'll be dead within a couple of hours. So let's say somebody did slip you a Mickey. And by Mickey, I mean lots of rat poison. Sorry, Mickey. Right now, it's doing really bad things to your body, but there is a bright side. For one, you're probably not gonna die, and if you do, the person who poisoned you probably won't get away with it. Thallium was a good murder weapon in the early 1900s, but since then, the word has gotten out. It's not the first thing medical personnel will think of given your symptoms, but it's not that far down the list either. And if you do die, thallium has a unique enough forensic fingerprint, so police can immediately get to work tracking down your killer. The other good thing about thallium poisoning is its antidote, Prussian blue. This commonly used synthetic dye is widely available and can leach your system of thallium fairly quickly. Enough little blue pills, a few bananas to replace your missing potassium, and your thallium poisoning days are behind you. Good choice on picking rat poison. It isn't the best way to die, but it isn't the worst either. We'll be doing a new poison each Wednesday, so please check back in and don't forget to subscribe. If there are any poisons that you'd like to learn more about, let me know in the comments.